Good morning from Kotal. We ended up taking yesterday off, which wasn't that big of a deal because it rained pretty much all day. And in all fairness, it's also supposed to do the same thing today. But as you can see, it's actually kind of bright outside right now. So we figured let's rent a scooter and just see how far we get because we don't want to waste a day. And uh, yeah, the sun is out right now. Well, kind of, it keeps going in and out. We've got a couple of spots on the island that we want to hit up, so let's get going. So that was Hin Wong Bay. Beautiful, but not quite what we expected. No, we were told that this was a really good spot for snorkeling, and certainly it does look like snorkel masks are available for 50 baht, so $2. However, as I imagine you could probably see, the tides were pretty epic, so probably not the best time of day to be doing it. Yeah, it would have been very dangerous because the waves were huge and it actually looked as though the water was kind of full of rubbish wouldn't have been pleasant to go in but all the same it definitely looks like a nice spot the viewpoints are amazing it looks like there's a few little bars and coffee shops and things like that so if you wanted to spend a bit of leisure time here then you definitely could it just obviously needs for the conditions to be a little bit calmer so that you can do anything resembling swimming but now we move on And behind us is Tanote Beach. We came with the intention of sprawling ourselves out on said beach, but the tides are pretty high. It doesn't seem like there's many spots to lay out a towel, so. Yeah, from what I read on a bunch of blogs, it said that there were loungers that you could rent here, but we didn't see any of that. So I'm not sure if it's the time of year or it's the time of day because it's clearly high tide and the waves are far too large to make swimming safe. But yeah, it just wasn't really what I had expected or intended for us to do. I think we're gonna just head back and try and grab some lunch. <laughs> Yesterday, the weather was very hit and miss. It could not decide what it wanted to do. So we kind of gave up. But today is an all new day. It is sunny at the moment. So our first stop of the day is John Suan Viewpoint. And we've heard that it's going to be a short but strenuous hike up to the top. So to fuel us, we have gone to 7-Eleven. We love 7-Eleven, please sponsor us. And I've gotten these amazingly cheap and delicious coffees to help fuel the journey. Wish us luck. The tickets for the viewpoint are 50 baht each, so two Canadian dollars per person, and you get a free soft drink included.
day has just begun and we've already made our first error. This was not the hike up to John Suen viewpoint. This was some paid entrance to that has a nice view, but it's not what we wanted. So we soldier on still fueled by these delicious coffees. And with a little less money in our pockets. But with two waters though. That's good. Fingers crossed that this is the right way instead. And now having paid an extra 50 baht per person, then I think we're going up to the right viewpoint. <laughs> was worth it in my opinion because we were able to get this incredible panoramic view of the entire island like a bird's eye view. All the vlogs I read describe the hike as strenuous. I think it's more just very challenging like you have to be physically able to do it because in reality it's bouldering. They do have ropes for you to pull yourself up and for safety so you can hold on but there's barely any path. It's mostly climbing over rocks. The reason it takes so long to do is because you're partially having to figure out where to put your feet, where to put your hands, and what's the best way to climb over the rocks, which by the way are all granite boulders. But the great news is that once you do do that, then you're treated to a view pretty much unlike any other in Koh Tao. We could see the platform that we were on from that rock and like this is higher up. It gives you a much better view of the bay. So yeah, I would say that given that it's all the same price, you might not get a free soft drink included, but definitely this provides you with the overall better experience and also a bit more of a sense of accomplishment. Yeah, I think it's because this one is just slightly further along like it's closer to one end of the island as opposed to the platform which was even just a little bit more inland exactly but now beach time As beautiful as Koh Tao is, I especially actually really love the granite boulders. I think that that's super unique and something we haven't seen anywhere else in Southeast Asia. But as beautiful as it is, the beaches haven't quite been what we expected them to be. Yeah, I think it's because we've also been a bit spoiled by the other beaches in other countries, but certainly we were perhaps hoping for golden sands, clear water and I don't know, it seems just very built up. Well, catering exclusively for tourist purposes and it just doesn't seem like there's quite the same kind of natural beauty that we've seen in other places as well. The water close to the shore appears dirty and I don't know if it's just because we're always hitting these beaches at high tide but there doesn't seem to be much beach and what there is just isn't the same soft white sand as 
there's been in Malaysia and Indonesia and the Philippines and Sri Lanka. So yeah, it might just be that we've been spoiled, but everyone told us the beaches here are amazing. So I don't know, I'm just a little curious. On the plus side though, there was a cute dog. So something in the wind column on that front, but we will try another beach now to see if that's any different. decided to try Saidang Beach because we thought maybe there will be a nice white sand beach that we can lie down on, some calm, clean waters to swim in. Not the case. Nope. It's another one which does have lovely water and a beautiful beach, but it's high tide, so there's nowhere that you can actually be on without getting absolutely soaked to the skin. And again, I don't know if I would agree on the nice water thing, which is just so disappointing for this island, really. But what I have heard about Kotal's tourism and all of that kind of stuff is that actually they are doing green initiatives in order to do a better job of getting rid of waste. So maybe if we came back in a few years time, who knows, maybe that won't be a problem anymore. But certainly in terms of what we're seeing now, it's not the prettiest. And we did just meet another girl who came up to us and was like, have you been able to find beaches? So it's not just us who can't find beaches to relax on. I think a lot of people have the expectation, rightly or wrongly, that they'll be able to find a beach to lay out on and that just doesn't seem to be the case. I don't know, as I said, is it the time of day because it's high tide or is it the wrong season? Regardless of the reason, the island is beautiful it is. and I hope we don't come off as complaining. Because fundamentally, like, we have no regrets about the fact that we're here because it is just lovely to be on. And especially if you have a bike to really explore more of the scenery, then you really get a phenomenal experience here. And tomorrow we are going to try accessing all of these bays and beaches from the water because we are going to take a boat tour. I wouldn't say it's an island hopping tour, although it does go to one other island that we've heard amazing things about. Mm -hmm. So maybe accessing it from a different vantage point will actually change things for us. Let's hope so. In the meantime though, I don't know about you, but I'm a bit hungry. Absolutely. Let's go get some food. Yeah. And that is all of the photos we have of us trying to chase beaches. And so with that, then we're going to wrap this one up here. However, tomorrow, we are going to be going on another snorkeling trip and we are super excited because we've heard that there might be turtles, there might be sharks, there might be turtle sharks, shark turtles, turtles and sharks, sharks and turtles, basically some combination of something awesome. So very excited for that. We will pick everything up then. So until next time, take care. And keep smiling. <laughs>